Filipinas, la feroz guerra contra las drogas emprendida por el presidente Rodrigo Duterte ha llevado a un impresionante aumento del número de prisioneros. Según datos oficiales, a un año de que asumiera la presidencia, más de 86.500 personas entre traficantes de drogas y adictos que consumen shabu, una metanfetamina local muy potente y muy asequible por su bajo costo, han sido arrestadas. En Quison City, la ciudad más poblada de Filipinas, hay una prisión de pequeñas dimensiones. En un espacio originariamente concebido para 800 personas, en la actualidad hay cerca de 3.000. Hasta hace no muchos meses, el centro había llegado a dar cabida a más de 4.000 personas. La uh, mayoría de los inmates, around 70.1%, are drug related cases. The next The next uh, case, the uh, large portion of the case will be crimes against properties and then s maybe some other, some other city ordinances. Number one will be health problems, of course. Uh, we have tuberculosis present in our jail, so, but we have a program for that, a treatment program. We actually have a laboratory segregation area and quarantine isolation area for that. And the, ne the next problems will be, you know, some, some of the inmates do not have visitors. So, and we only have a minimum, bud a very minimal budget for their food. So, uh, the budget for food is around 60 pesos uh, per day per inmate. So, that's just about, quite above one dollar per day for the food. And about six pesos for medicines. En la prisión son bastantes los miembros de bandas locales como Sik Sik Sputnik y Bajala Nagan. Se les reconoce por los tatuajes. Las bandas tienen mucho poder y consiguen ingresar lo que quieren dentro del centro. Se dividen los espacios pintando las paredes con murales. Aunque no faltan las rivalidades, por necesidad, han optado por una tregua indefinida. Saben perfectamente que la más mínima disputa podría desencadenar un verdadero baño de sangre. This is the medical office wherein we conduct the consultations uh, or for emergency purposes. Two years ago, we have this 200 cases, uh, le uh, less than 200 cases, but now it drops uh, up to uh, 68 cases. Actually, the all NCR jails only have one psychiatrist, but we have four psychologists to assist her. You know, Filipinos are very, they're not violent people, especially inmates, and they're still ongoing trial. So we manage them by providing them with programs. For example, education programs, livelihood programs, sports and recreation programs. One person did not finish primary school. So he stole, uh, you know, he committed robbery. So in that sense, We can, we can see that the person committed robbery because he didn't have a job, because he didn't finish school. So what we do is, you enroll in a school program in the jail so that when you go outside, maybe there's a chance that you can find a decent job. We are giving them a second chance.